Hey, what's poppin' Smash players? It's a beautiful morning here in Canada. I'm sure you could tell I'm Canadian from my Canadian accent. In today's video, I want to talk about bracket luck. So the question of the day is, is bracket luck real? And the answer to that question of the day, you know what, I won't even leave it till the end. I'm gonna give it to you straight up right now. And that is 1 million percent yes. All right, so that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. That's not the end of the video, but that is true. Bracket luck is definitely 100% real but i want to take it even further to make this video a little more saucy and tell you three ways in which bracket luck is a thing the first way is bracket luck via matchups so this is getting lucky through getting good matchups either matchups that your character does well in or matchups that you're very very comfortable in or your opponent is just much less comfortable than you are even if they have the winning matchup you could also get super unlucky by playing your worst matchups right away Actually, I remember in Smash 4 playing Donkey Kong, bracket luck was huge for me. I felt like I could beat any Mario in the world, but also lose to any Zero Suit Samus in the world. And also beat any Sheik in the world. And I actually made it out first seed at Super Smash Con one year because I had to play against the Sheik and I was really good at that matchup. Then there's getting lucky through player. Even if a player might be equally as comfortable as you in a matchup, your playstyle might actually just naturally counter theirs. You might be a grab heavy player and they might be a shield heavy player, you know? It's it's never like 100% like that, but a good example is recently Shutan at Super Smash Con this year in 2019, he beat Lights Fox 3-0. Then in Losers after losing to Tweak, he lost to Louis Money's Fox 3-1. Or one to three so that definitely makes you wonder if we can agree that light is the best fox in the world and maybe louis money is claiming that title now but if light who probably still is the best fox in the world lost 3-0 and then louis money beat shutan 3-1 does that mean louis money is a better fox not necessarily i don't even think he was more comfortable in that matchup it's such a strange matchup to be better against all mara's fox and light is so good at it he's gotten so good to beat the buzz and that's another thing i i feel like the buzz could beat louis money but then lose to light so there's also like a player playstyle thing that happens uh, when it comes to bracket luck and you just might counter someone's playstyle or their playstyle might just counter you and screw you over. So the third way bracket luck could affect you, well first it was matchup, then it was player, and the third is just being lucky AF. And that's lucky as lippity flip because you just get a bunch of DQs. Or the opposite is you somehow get DQ'd because you went to a 4pm pool when your pool was really at 1pm. So what's the takeaway from this guys? The takeaway is that don't stress too much about how you place, just understand why you lost. People, you know, they get really upset when they lose and it can be hard to like handle or if they don't place well or like how they preferred but they could have just got really unlucky but just make sure to try to learn so you could overcome that you know go to your pool at the right time try to learn those matchups that are hard for you figure out why their play style might have been so good against you and just you know let it make you stronger and i also want to say this bracket luck is important to understand is real because it saves you from making stupid tweets because i know best ness was like oh uh, the smash and splash format it was like swiss pools i don't even know how that works but he said like oh it's, it's so stupid like a me brawler got like top like 24 i don't remember how leap placed but he was complaining about a me brawler he goes i money matched this me brawler and like i 3 out him and like yo he's so bad like i, sh I should have been like way higher but this bracket format stupid like that honestly made best ness look really bad because no one cares you beat a me brawler in a money match. There's a lot of characters that could just straight up demolish me brawler, but he outplaced you because he got matchups he was comfortable in and he's a really good player. Of course, a me brawler is like me for Smash 4 DK. You know, I feel like I could beat a lot of people, but also lose to a lot of people who are better or worse. So that's that.
I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that DK thumbs up and spank that subscribe button. Have a swell evening and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.